So in the report, this is a two-story, four-bedroom house. Well, thank goodness you shared that with your client because I'm reasonably positive that they will not have noticed that before the inspection. They had no idea what they were buying until you so kindly pointed it out for them. Seriously? The swimming pool is located in the backyard. What swimming pool? How did they put it in the backyard? Complete nonsense. Let's get down to some technical valuable stuff. Flooring, two by eight joy, 16 inches OC. Okay, do you remember me talking about millennials at the beginning? Does a millennial know what a two by eight is? Do they know what a joist is? And does 16 inches OC mean six, oh, wait a minute. Do they know those little quotes are inches? I'm not sure. And is OC Orange County? What is it? Now, let's pretend clients are stupid and inspectors are smart. So here's my question to you as the inspector. You're reading this report and the inspector has told you they're two by eight joists, 16 inches on center. So Mr. Inspector reading, is that floor okay? I have no freaking idea. How far is the span? What's the lumber species? Is there bridging, bracing, blocking? What's the live load? All those things are important, but they're not in here. So the client wants to know, is the floor okay? And you give them information that's not even useful to other home inspectors, let alone useful to them. And if you go the next step and say two by eight joists on 16 inch center spanning nine foot six, good, one more piece of data, still not enough to know whether the floor is okay. Who is this helping? Is this you doing busy work, pretending you're adding value when you're really not? Is this you wasting your time and your client's time? I submit to you, this has no place in a home inspection report. For those of you who do it, I apologize. Thermostat is on the exterior wall. So what? You and I know that's a bad location for a thermostat, but wouldn't it make more sense to make a recommendation to relocate the thermostat to an interior wall so that it will reflect the room temperature more accurately? So there was an action problem implication resolution. Brilliant. But that sentence, thermostat is on exterior wall, completely useless. Here's another one we all do. Furnace capacity, 80,000 BTU per hour. Most of us don't even bother putting whether it's input or output. What does the client want to know? Is the furnace going to keep me warm on the coldest day of the year? And you give me a number with a bunch of letters after it. How many clients know a British thermal unit? How many clients know that that's the amount of heat required to raise one pound of water one Fahrenheit degree? And why does that matter? It's ridiculous that we, and every home inspection report in the world includes this. Why? Is the furnace big enough to heat the home or not? That's what the client wants to know. 